I'm New York City Council Member Matthew Eugene, and I represent the District 40 in Brooklyn. Let me first and foremost uh, thank the Honorable Sewal and Sal Adikari, Deputy Representative of the Permanent Mission of Nepal to UN. And I would like to thank also the Honorable Fabin Batai, Batai, Vice Consul of the Consul General of Nepal, for hosting together the very important press conference with me on the step of city hall. And I would like also to thank so many representatives from different faiths and communities to come together with us at a very difficult moment facing the people from Nepal. As you know, on April 25th, 2015, Nepal was struck by a devastating earthquake. The death of all stand at over 8,400 and continues to climb. And there have been 17,500 people who have been reported injured so far. In addition, the earthquake has taken the life of 79 foreign nationals Three of them Americans. We all are gathered here today as one powerful voice at this moment to call on the city of New York, the government of the United States of America, and the entire global economy, uh, community to unite together on behalf of Nepal during the country's time of greatest need. On January 12th, you may remember that, on January 12th of 2010, my native country of Haiti was hit also by a powerful earthquake that destroyed the nation's infrastructure and led to death of over 200,000 people and the displacement of nearly 300,000. Those of us Living here, we are critical in would be to provide support and relief, not only to those living in Haiti, but also the families residing in the United States of America. Later that year, I was the primary sponsor of a resolution that was passed overwhelmingly by the city council asking the federal government and the Homeland State Security to provide TPS to Haiti. Not long after the resolution passed, the U.S. Department of Homeland Security granted TPS to Haiti, which permitted eligible Haitian nationals already living in the United States of America to remain in the country while Haiti recovered from the devastation from the earthquake. In addition to receiving authorization to live here legally throughout the duration of the TPS, Haitian nationals were granted the opportunity to obtain an employment authorization to work in the United States. In addition to Haiti having been designated, TPS, which is a humanitarian gesture that reflects the compassionate spirit of America, my native country was also beneficiary of an astonishing level of generosity from America and the global community, with billions, with billions of dollars being sent to Haiti and many businesses government, enterprise, non-for-profit organization, and philanthropic minded individuals from everywhere from the globe came together to send relief to Haiti. Furthermore, Haiti was visited by volunteers from all over the world. Over 30 countries, including immediate neighbors, fellow South countries, and friends of Nepal, as well as philanthropic institutions were fully involved to conduct search and rescue operations. We thank them all. 
buildings were there, I could see the Statue of Liberty, who says, welcome, welcome these people. And so I would urge our government to extend the temporary protected status as much as possible. Why not? There's no reason not to. This country needs to be able to respond to people in need, as they did to my grandparents, as they did to so many other people. These people are in need, it's just obvious, and there's no reason not to. The need that's there is not just a, a physical need, there's also a spiritual need. When all of the temples, or so many of the temples, were destroyed, and the cultural heritage of Nepal has been destroyed by an earthquake, how can these people rise without the, 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 the sustenance that we who build large and tall can offer them? It's our responsibility to help a culture reestablish itself. They're taking bricks. He's in great pain today. People are suffering. Over 8,000 people lost their lives. Over 15, 16,000 people are in great pain, wounded or injured. Many are still unaccounted for. Hundreds of thousands have been displaced. And about 8 million people are directly affected by this devastating earthquake that happened on January 25th. In this time of need, We need to come together, whether we are Nepalese or Asian American, or no matter where. I think the very fact that the council member, who is from the Asian origin, experienced the direct pain when his country was hit by natural disaster, he showed the same resilience to work with the Nepali and other communities to address the uh, needs of Nepal, that is the definition of humanity in the U.S. sense.